Hey there, welcome to today's video. It's Coach Kyle here from Colossus Fitness. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to start a diet and guarantee that you're gonna succeed. So let's jump right into it. So let's get real. We have all been through a phase where we likely have maybe not succeeded within a diet or didn't do as well as we were planning. And there's a number of reasons why that took place. But the first thing I want to start with is more of a bit of a mindset shift, and that is simply fully committing and not allowing it to be pushed back for whatever reason. So there will always be a reason for you to start tomorrow, for you to start next week, you know, maybe after Memorial Day long weekend, you're waiting to start or after a birthday or 4th of July, whatever it is, start now and go all in. You know, on our most recent podcast that we actually uploaded today, one of my quotes that I shared was go all in or don't bother going at all. And I'm so passionate about it because there's nothing worse than just putting in 50% effort, you know? Yes, of course, 0% effort would be much worse, but 50% is very tough, 60% is tough because you're telling yourself you're doing it, but you're just not fully actually doing it. You know, you're putting in the work, but you're not gonna see the results because of it. So when I do something, I go all in, I fully commit. And that's how our clients see such great results and such great change because when they hire us, when they take the guesswork out of the process, when they fully commit, they're going all in and that's what leads to such incredible results. And another quote here is, when you're looking for an excuse, you'll find one. When you look for a reason, you'll also find one. So my biggest thing here, I wanted to give you a bit of a harsh reality is set that goal, go all in, fully commit, and you will see great change. You know, if you set a goal to lose 20 pounds over the next 12 weeks, it's gonna happen. If you set a kind of a mediocre goal and you just don't fully go in and you know, weekends are tough, so you don't really log your calories, like. It's just not gonna get you anywhere. You're gonna kind of give yourself the illusion that you will get somewhere, but you actually won't. Go all in, don't push it back. You got this and that's tip number one. Now, number two, I highly recommend making small changes to nutrition. A lot of people think they have to cut out absolutely everything or their breakfast has to be fully revamped and they can't have this, they can't have that. It's gonna make it very challenging. It's not gonna be something you can sustain to. It's gonna be, you're gonna dread it, right? So our most successful clients and something we really, really recommend is just taking what you're having and make a small change within that. So for example, let's say you're at 2,500 calories, you need to get yourself down to 2,000. Instead of having full new meals and just trying all these different things, which can also work, um, I highly recommend just making changes to what you're currently having. So for example, I have Greek yogurt every single morning when I'm bulking, it's around 600 calories. When I start to cut, I bring it down to just over 400 calories. So that's a 200 calorie difference. I haven't really changed a whole lot. I haven't changed the habit. I've just changed the portions within that. And it's such an easy way to make sure that you are simply decreasing your calorie intake, but you're not making it a whole different story. You're not making it this whole new thing that you can't sustain to. And another big tip within this is still enjoying some of your favorite foods within a different variation. So for some people, they love burgers and unfortunately the macros may just not work for you and it's not something that you'd like to have in terms of your overall diet. A great variation would be turkey burgers. Like there's so many different things and macro hacks essentially. Instead of a tub of Ben and Jerry's, which could be a thousand plus calories, Halo Top is a great example. It's about 300 calories for an entire tub, satisfies your sweet tooth. There's a lot of different things that you can do to still get you in a calorie deficit, to keep you nice and full, but to also make it seem like it's more exciting instead of just having broccoli, chicken, and rice four times a day and hating your life. So this is a big hack. It makes such a difference. It helps you stay in a deficit. It helps the longevity of the diet, and I highly recommend it. Now, tip number three is not being afraid to ask for help. I know so many people who will consistently struggle over and over again. They'll start a diet this week and then three months from now, they won't unfortunately have gotten there. And the truth is that everybody needs help and everybody needs accountability, right? I used to be guilty of this thinking that I was totally fine doing everything on my own. Sometimes it's an ego thing. Some of us guys, I know we struggle with it as well. And unfortunately, that's just not the case. You know, the best athletes out there, they need someone to take the guesswork out of the process. A lot of times when we're actually emotionally attached to the results, we make a lot of not so great decisions. And that doesn't mean it's, it's not because we're a bad person, it's just simply because we think we're doing something right because we're emotionally tied, but the decisions we make are actually poor. So for example, a lot of times we'll decrease our calories too quickly, uh, we'll actually take it way too easy on ourselves, some of us are way too hard on ourselves, 
there's a lot of different things happening, but the truth is when you actually fully invest, you know, they say the more you pay, the more you pay attention. It is so true because you will show up. When you put your money where your mouth is, when you invest, when you hire someone, you will just naturally start to put in so much work because you start to think, I don't wanna waste my money, I'm paying for this. There's someone who's taking their time to help me out. Long story short is do not be afraid to ask for help. Obviously right now with our Memorial Day sale, it is a great time to jump on board. All you have to do is fill out that first link down below you know, it takes three to five minutes to share some of your goals. We will take care of you. And we do have an amazing discount taking place right now for Memorial Day. So we are happy to help you. Do not hesitate to reach out and we will be there for you every step of the way. And next up, this is something I'm passionate about. It works for myself, especially because I am competitive. Some of you may be as well. It's just creating some sort of challenge or having real stakes involved. So a lot of times, I'll be honest, we may not want our goals or our actions don't seem like we want our goals as bad as we say that we do. However, if you get something involved, if I were to say, hey, listen, over the next 12 weeks, you have to lose 15 pounds or you'll have to donate this amount of money to whatever it is. You have to give your friend a thousand dollars. You will do every single thing it takes to make sure that you don't have to do that. You will lose that weight. Now, a lot of times we set goals, we kind of forget, we set them and we forget them, or we just, similar to tip number one is, we just don't treat it, we don't go all in. And this is one of the greatest ways to put a fire under your butt, to light that fire, to make sure that no matter what's happening, you do hit your goals. And some people may think this is a little too intense, they may not think it's for them, but I can assure you, it really allows you to stay on track. And, and to give you a little backstory, I had a nice little challenge with a friend of mine recently. We both wanted a bit of a push. We wanted some more accountability. So we came up with a challenge. Now, how it worked was we both had to lose eight pounds within a month. If we both did it, awesome. We both win. We've lost eight pounds each. We're in a good spot. If someone lost less than eight pounds, we would have to give the other person $500. So let's say he lost seven pounds. I lost four. I'd owe him $500. So, what this did to me and for him as well, and I know a lot of people who do stuff like this, is it constantly gets you thinking. Anytime you say, hey, I'm gonna go over calories and you decide to wanna do it, you think of that challenge, you think of the real stakes, you think of what the negatives will be to that will take place. Anytime that you want to you know, just skip out on a workout, you think of that. And I think this is something that a lot of people need is just some sort of you know, push like that little thing that will force them to do it. And once again, it's not for everyone. Some people may become stressed from that. They may hate it. They may, you know, just want to rebound afterwards. Like after this, I wanted to keep going because we had our new challenge with all of our clients take place. And because what I did was nothing like out of the ordinary it was just like, I just fully committed and brought my calories down and moved a bit more. So it's something I could sustainably do, which is also another thing to consider. But long story short, get some real stakes involved. Get something going that will 100% make sure that you stay on track. Obviously a form of accountability is huge as we've already mentioned. And uh, yeah, this is something that helped me for sure. Now, number five is simply scheduling things out. And this means scheduling in how long you're gonna be in a deficit, allocating for any trips that are gonna be taking place, starting up some certain clubs that you may be doing. You know, I am a big planner. If you're not a planner, if you're someone who's a little bit more reactive, like that's fine. You can find ways to essentially implement this, but I really recommend just every Sunday taking a look at the calendar. For me personally, I take a look at where my movement's gonna come from. Are there gonna be any days where I may not be able to work out in my regular time? I'll send a few messages for, you know, if I'm gonna go mountain biking on a Wednesday, I'll message Josh and, you know, let him know. Um, there's just, planning allows you to get ahead of schedule. And I think this is where so many people struggle, but I find that it is, at least for me, a lot more relieving knowing what's gonna be taking place, what the next steps are. Even for those of you who are doing a diet phase, knowing roughly where, when you're gonna end, instead of saying, oh, I'll end it when I lose 50 pounds, allowing yourself to have a start and end date will just allow you to fully commit because you know what time frame you're gonna be you know, crushing it um, and when you're gonna start, finish, and obviously this can change throughout the process, but I do find that scheduling allows you to get ahead of the situation, you know, whenever some certain events come up, like being able to get ahead of it and plan for your calories and just navigate it, it makes it so much easier. And I find a lot of people struggle, unfortunately, because they kind of just wing it, right? They're not really sure what the goal is. They're not sure what they're eating for the week. They don't really do the groceries as much. They don't plug in their workouts for the week or do anything cardio wise. And they kind of wait until the last minute. So 
This is one of my biggest tips. I cannot encourage it more and it has helped me and a number of our clients in so many different ways. And that's all I've got for today. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully it helps out. My mission here is to get more people to start to see success. We honestly hear way too many people talk about how they're struggling, how they don't you know, feel best about their diet, they don't feel great in their own skin, and it just really bothers me because I know so many people have the right mindset, the right work ethic, the right potential, but not the right accountability and guidance and just not the right plan as well. So we will be there for you. Make sure to fill out that form, take all the guesswork out of the process, but above all, Hopefully you are enjoying this content. We've been uploading two videos every single week without missing and you know, make sure to subscribe for more up-to-date content and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace and love always.